Okay then, so for 150 points of Tau, we are starting off with the commander who is a Ethereal with an Honor Blade. A Pathfinder Shazui is the leader with Pulse Pistol and uh, Pulse Carbine. Three Pathfinder Gunners in Comms, Sniper and Demolitions, all with Ion Rifles. We have a Stealth Shoot Shazui with the uh, Burst Cannon. Uh, we have two regular Stealth Suits, both with Burst Cannons. A Recon Drone with the Burst Cannon, two Gun Drones and two Shield Drones. And that is 150 points of Tau. So, 150 points of Road Traders, starting out with the Commander, who is proxying for Elusia Vane, with the Heirloom Pistol, Monomolecular Cane Rapier and Concussion Grenades. We've got Larson van der Graaus, who is the comms specialist retainer, so goes on top of the normal specialist you can bring. He's got himself a Voltic Pistol, Concussion Grenades and a lovely 5-up Invulnerable Save Bubble for everyone around him. We've got Sanastasia Minst, who is the medic specialist retainer, with a Scalpel Claw and a regular Laz Pistol. We've got Nosoprond, the Death Cult Assassin with Power Blade and Dark Mask. Going to the regular specialists, the Void Master Niche is the leader specialist with his shotgun. We've got a gunner with a rotary cannon who is a heavy specialist. One of the regular Voidsmen who is a demo specialist. The star of the show, Aximilian, who is the scout specialist. And two regular Voidsmen with las guns. And that is 150 points of Rogue Traders. So we'll be playing the Crush Their Champions game type from the Elites book. With this one you have commanders on both sides, they are worth 3 victory points if the enemy kills them. You also gain 1 victory point for killing a specialist. And if either side breaks at any point during the game, that is an automatic loss unless the other team breaks at the exact same time. Okay then, so rolling for deployment, 2d6, whoever has the highest gets to deploy their team first. 6 for the Tau. Seven for the Rogue Traders. Rogue Traders are deploying first. Okay then, so summarising deployment. Uh, knowing that the Star Striders have the advantage in melee, they're all lined right up at the front, raring to go. We've got uh, the comms guard with his invulnerable bubble somewhere in the middle, providing that's invulnerable save for everybody. And the rotor cannon right at the back in order to get a good fire line and line of sight on everyone else. Moving to Tau, uh, the stealth suit and the recon drone are up top because they can fly and get about the board easily. Uh, the commander is up front, knowing full well that melee is going to happen and wants to get in as well. We've got stealth suits flanking either side of the container. And the majority of the firepower, the guys with the iron rifles, are all stacked up along the back, ready to go where they need to. And the drones can go wherever they like once the infantry have moved. So, going into turn one. Yeah, so, initiative, turn one then. 2d6, see who goes first. Ten. Ten, re-roll. Eleven. Seven. Okay, Tau with the initiative for turn one. Okay, well, I know I am probably going to get charged, so I think I might as well try and lead with that if I can. So I'm going to get my Ethereal with Hover Drone to make an eight-inch charge to that guy and that guy. Yeah, okay, so this guy, uh, definitely within half range, so gets two shots. Hitting on sixes. Zip. And the other guy hitting on sixes. Ooh, one hit. The ethereal has a toughness of three, so your strength three last gun is actually winning on a four for once. Does. There is a five up armor save for the ethereal. Uh, it's multi wound, so I'll take it on the armor. Five up armor save. Fails. The ethereal is down one wound to three wounds. Yep, three wounds on the ethereal. Okay, so needing that eight inch charge. Getting nine, in he goes. Yep. Straight in there. Already. Yep. I want to charge her in. Okay, so needing 2d6, I can't overwatch because I'm already in combat. So even a two would get it. Yep, easy with nine, so she goes into melee range. Six. six. Yep, so I get four shots overwatch, hitting on sixes. Hitting once. Uh, strength five versus toughness of three, wounds on a three. Does uh, one of your regular four pin vulnerable saves, please? Four pin vulnerable. No. So she takes a wound, she is down to three. Three wounds, uh, 2d6, needing six to make the charge. Getting six. 
Whoop. So now she's locked in with the drone. I think I charged her over there. Okay, uh, what's the distance? Probably like five, six. Yep, and I can see from there, so four shots hitting on sixes. Uh, singular, strength five versus toughness three, wounds on a three. Does, and your five up invulnerable save for being in the bubble, single. Passes, she's fine. So, 2d6, needing six to make the charge. Getting ten, in she goes. She can run laps around him with that distance. Okay then, so summarising movement, uh, the tower back lines, the uh, rail finders have all scattered into the various covers of the walls around them, with some of the drones for protection. The ethereal charged headlong into the starred striders and brought a shield drone with him for protection, and was met with a charge from the death cult assassin. Uh, the leader of the starred striders has pushed forward with his shotgun, as is the demo specialist inside the container, and unbeknownst to everybody else, inside the container is the lovely doggo, who nobody wants hurt, because he's so sweet. Uh, over here we have the stealth switch Chazray, who's moved up with the gun drone with the burst cannon on it, and is being met by the comm specialist. We also have the other two stealth suits that have gone right to the back line in a big advance to get a good flank on people. But this one has been caught in combat by the medic specialist. And this one is facing down a 2 damage strength 5 rotor cannon, so it'll be interesting to see where it goes as we go into the shooting phase. They did. So, my initiative, so my first shot then. Uh, I see a very good opportunity right here from the sniper specialist, so I'm going to quickly take advantage of that. So, my sniper specialist with the Pathfinder Gunner uh, hits on 4s regularly. Uh, you're in the open, you're very much in half range, and he rerolls 1s. So, two shots, not overcharging, hitting 4s, rerolling 1s. Both hit. Uh, the iron rifle is strength 7 AP minus 1, so wounds on 2s. Singular for an AP of minus 1, so his 5 palm save is now a 6 up. Nope. But, uh, does that guy have two wounds? Boys Master Niche has two wounds! So, he goes down to one wound. Uh, your first shot. Okay, so going from the rotor cannon to the stealth suit. So, the rotor cannon hits on threes normally, hits on fours because he's in cover, and hits on fives because the natural minus one from the stealth suit. Okay, so four shots from the rotor cannon, hitting on fives. Uh, he is a heavy specialist, so you can spend a CP for an extra shot if you'd like. Yeah. Yeah. So, spending one of the CPs for the extra shot. So, five shots, hitting on fives. Uh, two of them, uh, strength of four against toughness four, so wounding on fours. Neither, would you like to re-roll one of those? So, another command point down, so re-rolling one of the ones to wound on a four. Ah, unlucky. Okay, so no damage dealt from the rotor cannon to the stealth suit. Uh, none too plussed about that, the stealth suit's going to fire back. Uh, he hits on four's base, you're in cover, and I advance, so I hit on sixes with four shots. Sixes. Singular. Strength five versus toughness three, wounds on a three. Does. Uh, no AP however, so a single five up arm save from your heavy specialist please. Fails. Uh, that guy does not have two wounds I don't think. No he does not. So, injury roll then. He is in cover. So, five up and he's dead. He lives! So, flesh wound on the rotor cannon. Uh, do you think he can see this guy? The demo specialist. Uh, I can see his hand, so the raw law of return fire says that if I can see him, he can see me. So, yes, he can see this guy. And I think I'm out of cover from him from that angle. So, yes. Yeah, I'll shoot him then. Okay, I'm out of cover actually. Uh, yeah, technically. So, uh, two shots then, hitting on threes with the las gun. Both of them, wounding on fours. Neither. Unlucky. Okay, uh, my next one will fire the stealth suit leader. 
into the specialist comms retainer who's uh, advanced to meet him. Again, I advanced and you are in cover, so hitting on sixes. Oof, two of them. Wounding on threes. Both of them. Uh, two five up invulnerable saves, please. Neither. Uh, there goes his two wounds. So, five up and he's dead. He lives. Flesh wound for Larsen van der Graus. Uh, your next shot. I think it's just him to go, to be fair. Him and that guy. Ah, yes, and your leader with a shotgun. I'll shoot him back to him. Okay, so with his vaulted pistol, uh, he usually hits on a four, becomes a five for the flesh wound, and I'm in cover and stealth suit and rubbish, so it's a six. But if you do hit on that six, I believe you get three hits out of it. Vaulted pistol, each unmodified hit roll of six inflicts three instead of one. So, hitting on a six, but you'll get three hits if you make it. Oh, almost, 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 almost. <laughs> so, nothing from the Baltic pistol. Uh, next shot then. Uh, all my boys up that end have gone. Sniper down here's gone. So, we'll get my comms guy to fire back into the voidsman on the container that shot him earlier. Uh, so, two shots, hitting fours usually, fives because you're in cover. Singular. Strength seven, wounds on a two. Does. Uh, AP minus one, so a six up armor save for that poison. New. No. Uh, five, six to kill because he's in cover. He lives! Hanging on by the skin of the teeth, but Star Striders are still kicking. Your next one. Yeah, um, leader with a shotgun. Who shoots at your drone? Drone, okay. So it's 12 inch assault two. Uh, you advance to get there, so it would hit on a four, hits on five because of cover. So two shots then, uh, 12 inch range actually. I think that's a bit beyond six. Thank you. Yep, so long range. So two shots hitting on sixes. Nil. Okay, uh, rest of mine then. Demo specialist to your heavy, way down the line. So 15 inches is my half range with the iron rifle, which I am out of. So long range and you're in cover. Single shot hits on a six. New. Um, you've not got anything else left to shoot, right? No. Nope, okay. So my leader can see the voidsman on the container so with the pulse carbine uh, 10 inches so should be within half range two shots hitting fours becomes fives because of cover fives both strength five winning threes both uh, five of power saves please two of them uh, makes one one goes through he's once flesh wounded four five six to kill that's a kill. And that was the demo specialist who's gone, so that is one point to the towel. Gun drones hit on fives, but he does have an unobscured view to the leader. So two shots hitting fives. Singular. Wounds on three. Does. A five of armor save for the leader, please. Makes it. He's laughing. Uh, oh, Pulse Carbine's 18 inches actually, so those two. Ah, hang on. 18 inches half range. I hit on fives with the uh, leader to him, didn't I? Which should have been a six because it should have been long range. So actually, no, he's back in the game because I goofed up. So I should have been hitting on sixes instead of fives, my mistake. Um, yeah, and so because of that, I don't think that gun drone is in range of anybody apart from. The guy who's back in. So, long range and in cover. Gun drone to him, hitting sixes. Nip. Okay, and that's me done. Okay. So, end of the shooting phase. Uh, lots of shot to, uh, fired across the board. Bit of a goof made with that guy. I thought I killed him when I hadn't because I forgot how close a uh, Pulse Carbine's reign actually is, so he's still alive. Uh, a lot of wounds peeled off though from the leader, Larsen van der Graus, the heavy at the back, 
but no actual kills yet, but that probably will change as we go into the fight phase. He has three attacks, and since he has three targets within an inch of him, I'll put one attack on each. So, starting off, uh, hitting on threes onto this Voidsman here, and then we'll go anti-clockwise. So, hitting on threes on the Voidsman. Does. Uh, strength is three plus two, so five. Wins on a three. Does not. Uh, the Voidsman just down here hits on a three. Does. Wins on a three. Does. A five of armor save for that Voidsman, please. Makes it. And then finally onto the Death Cult Assassin. Hits on a three. Does. Wins on a three. Does not. Ew, I really need some damage on it though, so I will re-roll that one. Yeah, it does. And she has a... Yep, she has a 5-up invulnerable. So 5-up invulnerable from uh, the Death Cult. No. So she suffers a wound. And goes down... to one wound. That's not flesh wounds. Two on the drone. And two on the other guy. Okay, so two attacks onto the drone first. Hitting on threes. Reroll and fails. Reroll the fails. So both of them. Uh, gets one hit. Uh, strength four. Uh, doesn't add extra strength. Toughest four on the drone, so wounds on a four. Does not. Would you like a reroll? It's a new phase. Yeah. Yep. So rerolling. Yep, does wound. Uh, AP minus two onto the gun drone. So the gun drone now has a six up save, which it fails. Actually, no, what I'm doing is a shield drone. It has a five up invulnerable. Still would have failed because that was a three that was rolled. So it doesn't matter. Uh, five up feel no pain, however. Fails as well. So on a four up, that drone dies. New, no, the drone lives with a flesh wound. Flesh wound for the drone. And then two attacks onto the ethereal, hitting on threes, rerolling fails. Reroll the fail. Both of them. Uh, strength four, top plus three, wounding on threes. Singular. Uh, I have a, I believe it's five up in vulnerable with the ethereal. Uh, it's not in vulnerable, it's just a regular five up. Fails. And the ethereal goes down to two wounds. Okay. Uh, also, uh, your commander charged my drone. Did she not? So, Lisa Vane has three attacks hitting on threes. Like, uh, she also has the uh, concealed architect weapon, but that's a once per game thing, so whether you want to spend that now or not. Mm. No, I'm just doing Nope. So, three attacks then onto the recon drone hitting on threes. And all of them. Uh, strength 3 and the sword doesn't do anything for that, so wounding on 5s. Is that 1? 1. 1, uh, an AP minus 2, so the recon drone has a 6 up save now, which it fluffs, and goes down to 1 wound. Okay. Also over here, the medic charged in to the stealth suit. So she has two attacks, hitting on fours. One. One. Uh, the scalpel claw is strength user, so three, AP minus one, so winning on a five. Does, AP minus one, so four up save for the stealth suit. Makes it. Uh, the stealth suit then slaps back. He has two attacks, hitting on fives. Hitting on fives back. Whips it. Uh, with the recon drone as well, slapping back. Because uh, he slightly bumps into them, hitting on a five with its one attack. It bumps into it. Uh, the drone strength is four versus your toughness of three. Wounds on a three. Does not. A drone bumping into your commander phases them not in the slightest. Okay. So, summing up combat then, slap sword around, the shield drone almost died, uh, 
took a wound off of both the Deathcore Assassin and the Ethereal. A uh, bit of light fisty cuffs over here, but nothing particularly special happened. And the Commander managed to take a wound off of the Recon Drone. So, going into turn two. Yep, so nothing required of morale, so going straight into turn two then. Okay, so 2d6 for turn two, so you get the initiative. Three for the Tau, four for the Star Striders. Star Striders have the initiative. Yeah, okay, so I uh, can see if I'm there. So two shots hit on sixes, whips. So needing six to make the charge. Gets in with 10. So I can go up to if you want. Want to attempt the same with Doggo potentially? Because uh, I can't see him so from inside the crate, so I can't even overwatch him. How far would that be? Uh, well, assuming he's probably like an inch in from there, so just add an inch to where you're going. So if you wanted the same target, call it seven. Yeah. Yeah. So needing seven. Gets it. Doggo. He comes bounding out of the crate. <laughs> It's a bite of Pathfinder. <laughs> Love it. Yep, so charging the comms guy into the drone, probably needing like three, four from there. Easily gets it with nine, so it can go right to the other side if he really wants. Whoop. Yep, that is just shy of eight, so seven inches. Okay. Would you like to charge the drone as well? Yeah. Okay, um, so call it seven for the Pathfinder, eight for the drone. So first off, overwatch shots from the Pathfinder, hitting on sixes, rerolling ones. Ouch, both. Wounds on twos. Singular. Uh, six of Palmer safe, please. Just one. Just the one. He's fine! He's fine! Okay, and then the drone hits on sixes. Nothing. Uh, he has two pulse cards bands as well, doesn't he, actually? Nope. Okay, so needing seven and eight, I think we said. Gain seven, so you tie up. The sniper specialist. <laughs> oh, I thought that was going to be a that was, that, was a that was a worryingly close one, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, in he goes. Oh, you didn't actually slap with them last turn, did you? Did I? No, the, oh. the regular voidsman you didn't actually hit the ethereal with. Lol. So uh, do us a solid and give him a slap. So one attack each from the voidsman, hitting on a four. So do them separately? Yeah. First guy hits on a four. Does uh, wounds on a four. Also does five up save, fails it. <laughs> the other goes down to one. Come on, Voidsman. Right, so next one hits on a four. No. no. Okay. So, well, extra wound peeled off from the Voidsman we forgot for combat last turn. So that Ethereal is sitting on one wound. That's not good for him. Okay then, so movement on turn two. Uh, first off, we corrected the fact that the Voidsman didn't slap the Ethereal last time when they had the opportunity and it's took a wound off him but the actual moves themselves. Uh, some big charges from the Star Striders as the leader managed to get in with the sniper on the back line. And the demo specialist and the doggo charged out from the crate and managed to tie up this Pathfinder here. Meanwhile, the common specialist has tied up the drone, meaning it couldn't fall back and had to stay in combat with the commander. And over here, the two stealth suits have converged behind as the uh, rotor cannon frees off to try and get a good line on behind him as the medic fell back from this cover into that one over there. So, going into shooting. Heavy specialist spending a CP for an extra shot. Five shots. <laughs> Hitting on fives. Ouch. <laughs> oh dear. Hmm. Is there, needs to hit the range this, some more, this guy, I think. Actually, never mind, he would have been hitting on sixes anyway for his flesh wound. Obviously, but, uh, now on. So, no hits from that guy. Uh, so, my shots then. Uh, the stealth shooter shells very well fire into the flesh wounded guy there. Four shots, uh, hitting on fives for obscuration. Two. Wounding on threes. Single. Five of palms save for the heavy gunner, please. Nope. Uh, once flesh wounded, four, five, six to kill. He lives still. Second flesh wound. Yep. Second flesh wound on the heavy gunner. Uh, next shot. This stealth suit behind him. 
four shots. He is in the open to him, so hitting on fours. Uh, two. Wounding. Threes. Both. Uh, two five up saves, please. Neither. One damage, only one goes through. He's in the open, so um, four to kill becomes three becomes two. So on a one, he survives. Nope, he's dead. Heavy gunner is killed. And as he is a heavy specialist, that is point one to the tower. Uh, that guy can't see the medic, so he can't see or shoot. Uh, can I leave to see the medic? Yes, he can. So, two shots from the leader to the medic. Long range for the pulse carbine, and you're in cover. Hits on sixes. Zip. Uh, this guy doesn't have a target. Uh, the drone can hit the medic as well. First pulse carbine hits on sixes. Nope. And the second one, sixes. No. Uh, this gun drone here can also see the medic, and because she's unobscured, hits on fives. One. And on a three. Does not. Second one, fives. Both threes. Both. Uh, two five up saves for the medic, please. Nope. Uh, one that. Actually, no. Two shots of one damage have gone through, so that's peeled off of two wounds. So first one to. And she's in the open, so four, five, six will kill. No, she lives. Medic is still alive. Okay. Uh, also, your assassin. Stayed in combat, so she can fire her dark mask. So she hits on a four. Do you want to go into the ethereal or the drone? The drone. The drone. Uh, so hits on a four. Got one dice. Yep, just the one. Ooh, chuck it in there. New. No. You want to re-roll that, or do you want to keep it? Hits. Wounds on a two. Does AP minus one, but it's a uh, vulnerable for the shield drone. It passes. The drone is fine. Uh, do regular voidsmen have las pistols? Do you know what they do? So these two boys can actually shoot into the ethereal with their las pistols. Cool. So uh, first guy one shot hits on a three. Does not. Second boy hits on a three. Does wins on a four. Does not. Uh, anymore for any more. He charged. She can fire her pistol into combat with the drone, actually. And that pistol is strength for AP minus two, two damage. It hits on a three. So one shot. Whiffs. So summarizing the shooting phase then, the heavy gunner was taken out by a volley of burst cannon fire from the stealth suits behind him. A uh, couple of last pistol and dark mask rounds were traded in this combat here, but ultimately came to nothing. Uh, some shots were also fired from the sides to the medic over here and managed to put on flesh wounds. But other than that, the only kill so far is the heavy gunner. So moving into the fight phase. Because she has four attacks. Yeah, I do two on the drone. Yep, so two attacks on the drone, hitting on threes. She was not charging this turn though, so can't re-roll. So one hits. Uh, strength of four, toughest four wins on four. Does not, it's a new phase. Do you want to use it now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. re-roll. Wins on a four. Does! Uh, AP minus two for that. Well, it's an invulnerable save anyway. Which it passes again. Uh, two slaps onto the ethereal, however. In threes, both wounding threes actually, strength four. Neither. Yeah. Boys Master Nish gets two attacks, hitting on fours. Uh, single, strength three, toughness three, wounds on a four. Does not. Um, Demo Voidsman has a single attack, hitting on a four. Does not. And the Doggo, Aximilian, has two attacks, hitting on threes. Both. Uh, strength three, wounds on fours. Ooh, both of them. 
Does this bike have any AP? <laughs> it does not. So, uh, that'll be two five episodes for the Pathfinder. Uh, yep, so two wounds from onto the Pathfinder, so I'll put them onto the drone going sequentially. Uh, because it's uh, a mortal wound, it goes straight onto the Feel No Pain, so five up. Fails. Uh, that drone then dies on a four up. It does pop. Pop goes the shield drone. Because of that, the second attack stays on the Pathfinder. Five up save for the Pathfinder. Fails. That Pathfinder dies on a four to the doggo. Doggo kills him. <laughs> doggo savages a Pathfinder. And off he goes. And that is a point to the Star Striders. One all. Uh, Archie Boy over there looking very pleased for his doggo friend. <laughs> So, Larson van der Graaf's charge, so he gets two attacks, hitting on fours. Oh, I don't think there's any special weapon though, so just hitting fours. Neither. Uh, any more charges this turn? I don't think there were. No. Nope, so regular combat. Already done the assassin, so we go to my first regular combat. Uh, let's do the drone. <laughs> the drone will bump into uh, the comm specialist. Hits on a five. Nope. A drone that big couldn't bump into that guy. I'll do this guy into the drone. Uh, okay, so he piles in first off to get within an inch of the drone and then hits the drone on a four. One. One attack. One. He's just a regular dud. But the regular dud does it. Hits on a four. Wounds on a five. Does not. And the other guy? He's probably a bit too out of reach to go around to the drone. Mm, okay, I'll do that then. Hits on a four. Does not. Um, my ethereal gets to have his slaps. He has three attacks, so I'll put them on one each again. Uh, so the voidsman on the right hits on a three. Does. Wounds on a three. Does not. Uh, the voidsman in the middle hits on a three. Does. Wounds on a three. Does not. Onto the Death Court Assassin, hits on a three! No! Do you know what? Let's re-roll. I want one of these to land. Hits on a three. Does not! Oh! Uh, ethereal, proving why Tau are garbage in melee! Okay, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I think it's just your rogue trader left to go. So she gets four attacks going onto the drone, hitting on threes. Three of them. Uh, strength three doesn't add anything to strength, so winning on fives. Uh, nope. Mm, okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Right, so summarising fight phase then. Uh, Doggo uh, mauled a Pathfinder to death and had some flesh wounds trained in about on some of the drones. The drone died as well with the Pathfinder and uh, not much happened up here besides. So, going into turn three. Okay, yeah, so um, for purposes of morale, I don't think either of us have to take any break tests. You can't fail with uh, any of yours. And as for leadership with mine, the shield drone has a leadership of six, uh, becomes five becomes four for the dead, plus one for the guy next to him. So on a six up, that shield drone is out of action. It just falls over. He does not fall over. Okay then, so start of turn three, rolling for initiative. Nine for the Tau, eight for the Star Striders, initiative Tau. That guy to charge into him. Okay, so point blank, still overwatching, hitting sixes. Zip. Uh, so rolling four, but even Snake Eyes will get in. Yep, so how far <laughs> around him do you want to go? I'll go this side here. Yep, I'm taking the flesh wound with you. Okay, Puppy's going to charge into this guy. Uh, do you want to charge into both? Yeah, yeah can and they there. can't see you from there. So okay. probably needing like four. Yep, easy. Doggo goes straight in for these two. Mm -hmm. Whoop. Now, so charging from the medic, uh, you need at least eight to get the drone and probably ten to get the guy behind him. So, drones over watching on sixes. Zip. Zip. So, needing at least eight. Getting seven. Do you want to re-roll? Yeah. Rolling it. In seven. <laughs> but that can put you right up here on the other side of the wall where she can't be shot. 
and um, could get in easily next turn. Can she shoot? No, because she's made a charge she's attempt. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that then. Yeah, it's better than staying there. Whoop. Up to here. Okay then, so summarising movement. Uh, the Pathfinder fell back from that guy, and the medic tried to charge into the drone but just fell short. Whereas over here, this Pathfinder has been engaged by the wounded Voidsman, and Doggo has gone over to take in the leader and the drone. Uh, Larson has fallen back, he is not in combat, and uh, the commander is tucked in behind that wall, as the stealth suit and the recon drone fell back behind that wall. Also, stealth suits are closing in on this side, and the melee in the middle continues as we go into the shooting phase. So then, this stealth suit here, attacking the medic down here, Long range and obscured because I'm firing through that ridiculous melee in the middle. So, four shots hitting sixes. Get one hit. Wings on a three. Does not. Uh, your first shot. Uh, if it's within half range, add one to the weapon strength, so we'll actually win the drone on a three. So, who are you shooting first, the drone or the dude? The drone. Drone, okay. So, hits the drone on a three. Does not. Do you want to re-roll? Yeah, good luck. Yep, yeah, hits on a three. <laughs> <laughs> I've been so unlucky this It's game. the other guy on a three. <laughs> hey, wounds on a three. No! <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> no such luck with the shotgun. Okay. Um, so, next one. We've got the recon drone who will fire into her. Uh, four shots hitting on sixes. Zip. I'll do my dark mask. Yep, into the drone or the leader. Commander. Drone. Into the drone. So hits on a four, I believe it was. Yep, hits on a four with the dark mask. One dice. Yep. Hits, wins on a two. Does. Four up invulnerable. Fails it. Five up, feel no pain. Fails it. Once flesh wounded, so three, four, five, six will kill. No, we've already re rolls. <laughs> the drone's twice flesh wounded. Ah, oh, excuse me. The drone's twice flesh wounded. Uh, pistols from these boys, where are they going? Um, he will shoot into that one. Yep, so one shot into the drone, hits on a three. Does. Wounds on a five. Does. Four pin vulnerable from the drone. Loves it. And a pistol from that boy into, into the ethereal. Yeah. It's on a three. Does wounds on a four. Does not. A very ineffectual round of shooting. Uh, some fire traded over here by the burst cannons, but didn't do any lasting damage. The only damage that was caused was on the shield drone from the dark mask. But uh, aside from that, a whole lot of nothing as we go into the fight phase. Yeah. So, do you want to go with the doggo or the dude first? The dude. Dude, a uh, one slap usually hits on fours, but he's flesh wounded, so hits on a five. One. Yep. No. Nope. And the doggo, two attacks, uh, hits on threes. Do you want to split him or? So you can do the drone and the dude. Yeah. Yeah? I do more, yeah. So one on the drone, hits mm -hmm. on a three. Does. Uh, wounds on a five. Does not. And on the dude, hits on a three. Does or wounds on a four? No. Nope. Uh, it is a new phase, you can re roll that if you so desire, or you can save it for the melee up there. Mm. Yeah, I'll leave it. Saving it? Yeah. Okay, uh, so going back to regular slaps then. So going with the ethereal, he has his three attacks. We'll put one into that voidsman there, hits on a three. Nope. Voidsman next to him, on a three. Yes, all wounds on a three. Does not. Uh, onto the assassin, hits on a three. Yes, wounds on a three. Yes, uh, five up invulnerable save on the assassin. She loves it. Eee. Um, so, two on the drone then. Yep, two on the drone, hitting on threes. Both uh, wounding on fives. Neither. It's a new phase. Do you want to reroll? Yeah. Reroll one of them. 
you. Uh, two on the dude then. Mm -hmm. Hitting threes. Both. Uh, wounding on uh, fours, I think it was. Both. Uh, AP minus two, which takes away my armor save entirely. So I'll put them both onto the drone and I'll have to do them sequentially. So the first one, uh, more wounds, so five will feel no pain on the drone. Fails. Uh, it's twice flesh wounded. Uh, only a one will save it. It dies. Bang! The shield drone finally croaks. And with that, your other attack goes through onto the ethereal. It cuts through his armor save. It gets rid of his last wound. On a four up, that ethereal's dead. He croaks! Ethereal's had it. That's enough melee for one tower for one day. He is gone, and that's three points to the Star Striders. Okay. Hmm. Uh, so, rest of melee then. Uh, I'll get... This guy to slap back the injured Voidsman over there. Hits on a five. No. Uh, Shazwi has... Does he have two attacks? He does. So, two attacks from the Shazwi into the Doggo, hitting fives. One hit. He's already a bad boy for slapping the Doggo. Wins on a four. Does. Uh, five of Palms save for the Doggo, please. Uh, actually, it's a six off save for the doggo, but it doesn't matter, it fails anyway. Uh, Aximilian is one wounds. So, four, five, six, and the doggo dies. The doggo lives! Everybody wants the doggo to live. And the drone will bump into the doggo, hitting on a five. Whiffs. Okay, end of turn. So, what's happened there? So, summarising fight phase then, the crucial bit, the ethereal is dead, cut down by the assassin's blade as well as the drone. The drone croaked on its uh, saving protocols and left the ethereal open and vulnerable, and that's it for him. So that is three points for the star striders, which gives them a lead of four to one as we go into the final turn, turn four. Okay, well actually, I'm pretty certain that's a leadership test for me. One, two, three, four, dead. Uh, not flesh wounded, not flesh wounded. One, two, three. Actually, no, it's not. Individual nerve, however. Uh, nobody's flesh wounded. So, no, nope, so I don't have to do that. You've only got one guy dead. So, yeah, no effects from nerve then. Uh, just going straight into turn four. Okay, then. Initiative for turn four, 2d6. Eight for the town. Eight for the Star Striders. Reroll. Initiative Tau, going into turn four. So, leading a six from the commander into my leader. Charging in, I fell back so I can't shoot. Okay. Oh. New phase, you can re-roll. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Yep. Is it both of them? <laughs> both of them. That would be wrong, yeah. Easy. Oh. In she goes. Well, I'll say easy, that was a bit of a close one, wasn't it? That was another close one. In she goes. I don't even look at this guy. Yep. That guy is going to charge into him. Yep, probably needing five from there. Okay. <sighs> <sighs> What's going on? We won't do it. We can shimmy closer and get some cover. Annoying. Then he's going to charge him. Okay. Both of them, if that's possible. Yeah, the drone will overwatch if you charge it though. Hmm. Okay, now I'll just charge him. So needing five. Gets it. Uh, your medic. She's going to pop in as well. The drone can't see here. Yeah, I'm charging the drone as well then. Yep. Needing six. Getting six. And she goes. I'll charge him into this guy. Yep. So needing four. And I get my four overwatch shots hitting sixes. With. Needing four. Yep, and because he's in, the rest can't fire over. He can't fire overwatch again, so the rest can charge it with impunity. Yep. She'd need three, he'd need five. Okay, so I'm doing her. In. Yep. And him. Not in. So you can stay there, or we can move closer by four. If he stays there, can he still shoot? Yes. No, he can't shoot, but he's staying in cover from other people. Mm, yeah, okay, I'll stay there. Yeah. 
Okay. And is that everyone? Yeah. Okay, so summarising movement then. The stealth suits have abandoned the positions to move way up the board to try and get into the action. Uh, unfortunately, this guy was caught by the Death Court assassin and one of her friends as he was flying on past them. Uh, most of the Tau fell back from their combats here, but have been caught in other ones, as the commander has caught the leader in combat here. And uh, this Pathfinder fell back from combat, but has opened himself up to shooting, potentially. Uh, this Pathfinder drone was also caught by the medic in combat, allowing the leader to charge him with no problems whatsoever. So, even though the stealth suits have come back to join the action, they're not going to have that many targets to shoot as we go into the shooting phase. Four dice. So, recon drone to that guy, hitting on sixes. Zip. Uh, this stealth suit here will fire into the same target, you can see through the windows. So he advanced, and there is obscuring cover, so hitting sixes as well. One hit. Wounds on a three. Does. Five upon save for that guy, please. New. No, he is in cover though. Five, six to kill. He lives. Let's re-roll one of these because I want uh, at least some people dead. Yeah, he's dead. Voidsman croaks it. Um. So it's literally yeah, just that Voidsman. guy into that guy because that's yep. the only guy who can see. Okay, so unobscured, but you are flesh wounded. So two shots hitting on fours. Okay. No. Neither. New phase if you want to re-roll. He's the only guy who's shooting. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, hits. Uh, wounds on a four. Does not. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, there was an actual kill made in the shooting phase from the stealth suit and the drone to this void's been back here. But aside from that, everyone's tied up in melee, so not much else besides. So, going into the final fight phase. I'll start with this one into him. Your commander. Okay. So... She gets her three attacks. She also has a concealed weapon that you can use once again. This is the last turn, so do you want to use it now? Yeah, I'll use it now. Okay. So once per battle at the start of the fight phase, pick an enemy model within an inch and roll a dice. On a four up, they suffer D3 mortal wounds. So roll me a four up. One dice. Yep. No. no. Does not matter. Okay, so regular attacks then. She has three attacks, hitting on threes. Two of them. Uh, wounding on... Falls. No. Do you want to re-roll one of those? I'm okay, so re-rolling for this one. So one of the to hit a uh, to wound dice, wasn't it? Wounds on a four. Yeah. Wounds. Uh, AP minus lots. Uh, so I will put that on the drone beside him. So uh, that's a mortal wound on that drone. It's not a shield drone, so it can't even save it. So on a four, five, six, the drone croaks. The drone pops. Off it goes. Okay, um, your next charges, which were these two up here and these two down here. Okay, i do the ones down there. Okay, so do you want to do your medic first, because she's the one who can reach the drone? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the medic gets two attacks, hitting on fours. Uh, one, wounds on a five. Does. Uh, AP minus one on the drone. Six of armor. Whips it. Uh, four, five, six from yourself and the drone implodes. Okay. Sit down. The drone croaks. Away goes the gun drone. Okay, so she gets four attacks, hitting on threes, re rolling because she charged. So re roll that one. Actually, we've rolled a three as well because it's a minus one because of his stealth thing. Okay, so two hits, uh, strength four, toughness four, wounds on fours. Both at AP minus two, so two five up saves. Fails on both. Let's try at least we all one of these to keep that guy alive. Still fails. So that's his two wounds gone, and he's in the open. So one dice to kill him on a four five six. That stealth suit goes. Oh boy! Away goes the stealth suit. Whoop! Yeah, uh. <laughs> Fail. 
fights back, I guess. So my leader slaps your commander. Two attacks hitting on fives. One, uh, wins on a four. Does a uh, four up invulnerable save for your commander, please. Makes it. Yeah, okay. And I believe that's all the fighting to be done. So, summarizing the fight phase then. Uh, stealth suit over there died. Drone over here died. Drone over there died. Uh, and that is putting the Tau onto a break test. So, let's check what their highest leadership is. That's very leadership eight. So, the highest surviving leadership of the Tau is this stealth suit Shazray with a leadership of eight. So, if I exceed eight, the Tau automatically lose. Nope. Six, so still in the game points wise, but I think at the end of this, uh, tallying up the current points have killed, the Star Striders have killed a commander and a specialist for four points, and the Tower have only killed one specialist for one. So, no real way of them catching up, and that is game. So, win for the Star Striders, killing the Tower in melee, because it uh, turns out Tower aren't really that good at that sort of thing, so, GG Star Striders.